It's the Puff and Steph Podcast. It's the Puff and Steph Podcast, back for another week of fun on your listening device. Steph, did you know that we're now available on iHeartRadio? Yes, very exciting. The iHeartRadio app, check it out, download it. A lot of you probably already have it. Uh, so just search for the Puff and Steph podcast. You can see all of our back episodes and all the new ones that get uploaded every single weekday. Again, download that iHeartRadio app and get to listening. It's good times. Tell me that this is not a Lifetime and or Hallmark movie waiting to happen. There is a couple in Ireland that are running for office against each other. Wow. What are the odds? She's a leftist. He's a centrist. They're lovers and they're fighters. This has got like rom-com written all over it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like in my mind, it's Matthew McConaughey and who's who would be a good other person? Uh, can you think of a female that would work with well with him? Um, All I can picture is Kate Hudson from Kate How to Lose a Guy in 10 right, Days. Kate Hudson or Reese Witherspoon, yep. something like that. And, and they're like f- fighting each other on the campaign trail, but they go home to each other every night. Right. That's so weird. Like, do they just do joint, like, tr- like when they go out, whatever they call them, tours? Like, yeah, like, yeah. They just go, they might as well just go together. Just the <laughs> campaign trail. They're just going on the same ones. I don't think that, no, I don't think they would be going on the same ones. You might as well, if you live together, like, you're coming home together every night. That's so weird. I don't necessarily feel like I need to be someone, be with someone who's, Belief, like beliefs and when it comes to politics are 110% lined up with what I think but to be completely different like that and then going against each other I don't know if I could do that I'm way too competitive really I would be so angry if I lost <laughs> I think I would divorce him well like let's say can't, I don't know I guess you could use president but let's just say like uh, governor all right let's say you wanted to run for governor but your husband wanted to run for governor if he were to win right could you be first lady? Like let's say it was the let's say it's the governor of Pennsylvania and he were to win, could you be first lady of Pennsylvania knowing that you were trying to be governor of Pennsylvania? Right. I don't think I'd want to settle for first lady. No. I think I'd be bitter about it. I'd be like, you can be governor, but you don't have a first lady by your side. Have fun. Bye. Boy, <laughs> bye. 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 I'm, I'm out, out of here. here. No more. <laughs> I'll just go get it at my own place. You, it's gotta end a marriage, right? It has to. How do you get through something like that? I don't know. I'm trying to see what uh, what exactly they're running for. Uh, partner can't for. So I think it's like I think it's their like like local Congress. I don't even know if it's like a national thing. Just candidate for. So, so. I'm just, sorry. This is me just reading it. Yeah, they're, they they. They're running for the same seat. Now, there are other people in the race as well. So there is a chance that neither of them win. And to be honest, that might be for the best for their marriage. Yeah, that's probably best case scenario. Somebody else needs to win. But I bet you people are going to vote for one of them because they want to see what's going to happen in Absolutely. their relationship. Absolutely. No one's going to vote for anybody else. Right? You want to vote for them. Just It's like a reality TV show exactly. played out in real life. Like a real, not a fake reality TV show like you watch. Like a real one. Right. Oh, yeah. Nobody else is going to get any votes in this election. Now, what would this movie be called? Running Mates? Nailed it. No, that's so good. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yep, perfect. Why am I not writing for Hollywood? You should be. Or at least just coming up with titles for everything. I like Running Mates. That's a good one. They should make that movie. Women will see that movie. And at the end, they'll realize that their love for each other is so much more important than any office that they might carry. And right at the end, they'll both agree that no matter who wins, they're going to stand by the side of the other one. And then neither of them win. (laughs) Aw, what a happy ending. That's exactly (laughs) what happens. Guarantee it. Guaranteed. I like it. I like it. It's a good plot line. The owner of a Sandy Springs, Georgia jewelry store thwarted a robbery attempt by clobbering the armed robbers with a sack of pickle jars. A wow. sack 
of oh, pickup jars. Oh, that had to be heavy. Yeah, the robbery happened uh, this past Saturday. Security video shows the smash and grab robbers uh, storming the store and holding customers and employees at gunpoint. The owner, who asked the media not to identify him or his business, was returning for lunch when he saw the robbery in progress. Then he went into attack mode, hitting the robbers over the head with a bag containing three jars of pickles. Wow. How do you need three jars of pickles? So that's what he was stealing. No, that that's what he had. Like the oh, owner. Oh, he had him in a no, sack. No, this was a jewelry store. Right. So they were stealing jewels. And this owner had like a sack of pickle jars. Right. Why did he have that? Why do you have three jars of pickles? He Man, really like, likes pickles. I know people that like pickles. My I wife, like pickles. My wife likes pickles. Mm-hmm. We don't have three jars of like full pickles. Like she never goes to the store and buy three jars of pickles. Even if they're on sale, probably don't buy three jars of pickles. Might buy one jar of pickles. Right. Maybe two if they're like buy one get one or something. But Maybe. Why do you have three? Maybe they're buy two get one. He was prepared though, you know. The owner held one of the robbers down until police arrived. The three remaining robbers sped away from police, ended up crashing. Three of the four suspects were in custody by the end of the day. Pickles. Wow. All Pickles right. Save the day. Can't use a gun. Can't use a bat. Trying to think of what other objects you might use. What would be? Is there anything in your car that could thwart a robbery? Um, ice scraper. I have a baseball bat. Several field hockey sticks. Why do you have a baseball bat? Um, well, I just I like playing like softball, so I have like a couple of softballs so any, and my glove. And so bat. if any any time a softball game, random softball game breaks out, I'm ready to go. Let's okay. go. I got everything in my trunk. <laughs> Okay. Well, when it gets nice out, I always get this, like, motivation to go play softball. So I'm like, yeah, I just kind of have the stuff with me. Super random. And it's good for a weapon. I also have a mini baseball bat that the Senators give out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, sure. So I have some weapons. You have way more weapons than I do. Yeah, you have do you field do? hockey sticks, baseball bats. Yep. Little baseball bats. Yep. Actually, I even have a baseball bat that was cut off halfway, and it's really sharp. So what? I have it as a weapon. Yeah, you do. I forget who gave it to me. One of my like friends are like maybe one of my brothers. I think they like were like looking they gave out for you me. A, they gave you a stake. Pretty much, yeah. They wanted me to be safe from vampires. Yeah, it's like a wooden bat. Yeah. So a it, wooden stake. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. You can take care it's of a pretty vampire. Sharp. No, if I hit somebody with it, it would be. It could do some Yeah, damage. I know. I'm like... Oh, I thought you were mocking me and saying, oh, you could hurt a vampire. Yeah, because vampires <laughs> get killed by wooden stakes. Uh, do they? Yeah. I thought... That's a thing. I thought it was sunlight. That does that too. Okay. They have, they have a couple different... Okay, I didn't realize like, that. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they have a couple <laughs> different uh, things that can take care of them. I'm trying to think. Like, you totally destroy anything in my car. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, you Don't are. Don't come at me. I, I wouldn't worry about it now. Um, I have like a speaker stand... From like DJ equipment, it's probably heavy. It's metal and it's heavy, and you could swing it around. There you go. It's and, something. And it's not that expensive, so I won't feel bad if I break it. But oh my god, like I'm so inadequate when it comes to uh, to you <laughs> and in things that can kill. Just hang out with me; you'll be safe. Thank you, Steph. Steph will always be there to protect me. Coming up next, we got Misconnection Monday. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Hey, honey, how are the taxes going? Pretty good. Let's see. We either get $800 back or we owe four grand. Hmm. I think we should call H&R Block. Let's face it. Taxes can be confusing and the laws seem to change every year. Let the professionals at your local H&R Block take the worry out of your tax season. H&R Block in Dillsburg, Newville, Biglerville, Fairfield, and Gettysburg have been owned by the same family for over 50 years. And they've been there for every tax law change along the way. Don't leave money on the table. File your taxes confidently with H&R Block. Okay, so you want a security system for your home or business and you don't know who to choose. Do you go with one of the big companies with representatives living in who knows where? Or do you hire a company that works in and cares about your community? ITD and Mechanicsburg, partnered with Alarm.com, is helping you make that decision easy by providing you with security for only $30 a month and you'll be able to monitor and control everything from your phone or tablet. Call ITD for more info. 717-256-4996 or ITD. SSI.com. 
Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy, no websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. The average person buys three to four homes in their lifetime. Don't trust the home buying process to just anyone. Trust someone who loves to educate their clients on the process. Someone who takes pride in meeting clients' needs. Trust Heather Kerstetter with Iron Valley Real Estate. Heather has great reviews on Homelight and Zillow and loves working with first-time home buyers. She also works with several charities, including the Humane Society and the SPCA. For all your home buying or selling needs, contact Heather Kerstetter, Iron Valley Real Estate, 1512 East Market Street in York, 717-316-8777, or on our at 717 425 9837. A healthier, happier you is created from more than just a gym membership or diet plan. Don't take on your New Year's goals alone. Let CBD American Shaman of PA help you reach your goals by giving you the physical and mental relief needed to persevere. The Better You Challenge will reward you for sticking to your goals. To learn more and to try free samples of the newest products, visit a CBD American Shaman of PA store in Carlisle, Mechanicsburg, Harrisburg, and Lancaster, or visit Hemp is Health. Com. And remember to use the promo code PUFF at checkout to save 10% on every order. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. Okay, we are back on the podcast. We have uh, scoured the pages of Craigslist to help Central Pennsylvania find love. It is Misconnection Monday. Steph, you have some good ones? Yeah, I'm okay. pumped. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. This one is called Sheets in Palmyra. You work at Sheets. I stop in nearly every day. You always know what I want when I come in the door. Ooh. Ooh, Very nice. Got that order ready. I stopped in on Saturday, and you were ready for me. Wow. In small talk, you asked if I was staying out of trouble. I am, but not by my own choice. I was thinking, I'd like to stir something up with you. If you see this and think you're the guy, tell me what I always buy, and I'll give you the details about what I'd like to stir up. I'm sure that he can imagine. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing that he's yeah. never thought about. You'd be my little schmuffin. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah, I'd like to made to order you. <laughs> yeah. Or how come you're not on the touch screen? Okay. Uh, that's enough. Uh, sheets, puns. Okay. Uh, blonde Chobani rep. Chobani? Like the yogurt? I think so. Okay. We talked today as we walked into the airport. I loved your hair, curls, and eyes. You are incredible. I know you're quote-unquote taken. I am as well. Oh, good. Good. (laughs) Cards on the table. Still, dot, dot, dot. I can't get you out of my head. Reach out if you'd like to have a drink someday. If not, dot, dot, dot. I totally understand. Just know you made my day. So, you know, yeah, as long as, as... he knows where she knows where he stands and he's just trying to figure out where she stands. Right. He's putting it all. At least he's being honest. Putting it all out there. Yeah, absolutely. This one happened at Hollywood Casino. I was at Hollywood today playing the Buffalo machine. Right before I left, this beautiful petite woman sat beside me playing a Buffalo machine also. Oh, yeah. We talked about Vegas and a certain hotel that I stay at when I go there. I pray she sees this and wish I had the nerve to ask for her number. I picked this one because it's in a different style. He's like telling a story as opposed to saying like, please message me. You were beautiful. He's like telling all the rest of us about her. Okay. He's like, I pray she sees this. I pray she sees this. Good luck, bud. Uh, Yes, absolutely. Um, This one is very short. Uh, very to the point, but I did it because of the way it was written. Very much like you. The title is Girl at Dollar General. The body is, you were in line ahead of me purchasing a single item. Would like to talk to you. That's all it was. But the way it's written, the title, Girl at Dollar General. Girl is in quotes. Why? Girl. At Dollar General. Why? I don't know. And I have theories. I'm like, is it someone who is not a girl but dressed like a girl? Is it someone who... 
I don't know. I was going to think maybe they, they, he wasn't sure if it was a girl or not. So you think there would have been a question mark then, like girl? Right. At Dollar General? Not girl. There has to be something ironic about it for the quotation mark. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why he would do that. Because there's more than one girl at Dollar General. Right. Maybe so, he just doesn't know how to use quotation marks. We're giving these people a lot of credit. That is true. Maybe he just doesn't know what uh, it means. Yeah, that's a good point. I never thought about that. It's okay. quite possible. All right. Well, that's your Misconnection Monday. I guess we'll just never know. It's a mystery. Yeah, forever in a day. At least she went out the way she wanted to. A woman died while taking part in a cake-eating competition to celebrate Australia Day. Oh, poor girl. It happened in the coastal town of Harvey Bay in Queensland on Sunday afternoon. 60-year-old was a contestant in the Beach House Hotel's annual Australia Day uh, eating contest. It was a lamington, which is a traditional Australian dessert, cube-shaped sponge cakes dipped in chocolate and covered with grated coconut. Sounds really good. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. She reportedly had a seizure after she shoved one of those cakes into her mouth. Aww. Poor lady. She was just doing what she loved. and She was being competitive. She was. Good for her. I, mean, I really think this is a woman after your heart. Yes, so absolutely. This is a woman that I think that you can model your life after. Yes. Potentially. Except for the dying part. Yeah. 60. But at the same time, you know, she went out... Doing what she loves. In an honorable way. Absolutely. <laughs> she has all my respect. In an honorable way? <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right. Yeah. She was rushed to the, rushed to the hospital, but later died. Aww. Yeah. All right. It's so sad. Big old question. <laughs> what would I want to die eating? Yeah. <laughs> if, you had to have, if you had to die during an eating contest... This is so hard. Peanut butter or hibachi? A peanut butter eating contest? Yeah. Just jars of peanut butter? Yeah. I can eat some peanut butter. I eat it by the spoonful. I'll be like, I'm just going to have a little, and then, yeah. You know how that goes. All right. So in this fictional, because I don't think this exists, peanut butter eating contest, do you think it's whoever finishes a jar first or how many you can eat in 10 minutes? Probably whoever finishes a jar first, because if you eat more than a jar of peanut butter in one sitting, you're going to die. I feel like. Guys eat 70 hot dogs in a sitting. But like peanut butter is so sticky. I don't know. And like the sugar, like, I don't know. If I eat too much of it, oh, but just off of a spoon, I feel sick. I guess you're right. People do that with hot dogs. Do you think you could finish a jar in 10 minutes? 20 minutes? I could give you a run for your money. Really? Yes. We won't try it because I don't want to see you die. No, or just feel really, really awful. Yeah. (laughs) No, that's all right. I think I could, I think I could do pretty well. For me, it would be like obviously like a pizza. Um, I wouldn't mind going like that. Um, nothing. See, you had hibachi, which is a little r- strange, but it makes sense. Peanut butter threw me for a loop. Mm-hmm. Ice cream eating contest would be tough because of the headaches. Yeah, but we, I, but I could do it. Yeah, we had one last year at a senator's game. We had an ice cream eating contest, and. Those people were champs. Really? I cannot even imagine how much that was like painful to their heads. Just gotta push through the pain. Yeah, because they only had like a half inning and they were eating like little ice cream cups. Some people had like eight of them in a half inning. You gotta push through you gotta push through the pain just like this woman did. If it it ends up with you in your grave, you know what? At least you made the news. Yep. That's the way the woman ended. This was in Australia and we're talking about it. True. So, you know what? Good luck in your peanut butter eating contest. Thank you. I have all the faith in the world to do. Coming up next, uh, we're getting into political season. Steph and I create our campaign slogans. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy. No websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. 
healthier, happier you is created from more than just a gym membership or diet plan. Don't take on your New Year's goals alone. Let CBD American Shaman of PA help you reach your goals by giving you the physical and mental relief needed to persevere. The Better You Challenge will reward you for sticking to your goals. To learn more and to try free samples of the newest products, visit a CBD American Shaman of PA store in Carlisle, Mechanicsburg, Harrisburg, and Lancaster. Or visit HempIsHealth.com. And remember to use the promo code PUFF at checkout to save 10% on every order. Okay, so you want a security system for your home or business and you don't know who to choose. Do you go with one of the big companies with representatives living in who knows where? Or do you hire a company that works in and cares about your community? ITD and Mechanicsburg, partnered with Alarm.com, is helping you make that decision easy by providing you with security for only $30 a month and you'll be able to monitor and control everything from your phone or tablet. Call ITD for more info. 717-256-4996 or ITD SSI.com. Hey, honey, how are the taxes going? Pretty good. Let's see. We either get $800 back or we owe four grand. Hmm. I think we should call H&R Block. Let's face it, taxes can be confusing and the laws seem to change every year. Let the professionals at your local H&R Block take the worry out of your tax season. H&R Block in Dillsburg, Newville, Biglerville, Fairfield, and Gettysburg have been owned by the same family for over 50 years. And they've been there for every tax law change along the way. Don't leave money on the table. File your taxes confidently with H&R Block. The average person buys three to four homes in their lifetime. Don't trust the home buying process to just anyone. Trust someone who loves to educate their clients on the process. Someone who takes pride in meeting clients' needs. Trust Heather Kerstetter with Iron Valley Real Estate. Heather has great reviews on Homelight and Zillow and loves working with first-time home buyers. She also works with several charities, including the Humane Society and the SPCA. For all your home buying or selling needs, contact Heather Kerstetter, Iron Valley Real Estate, 1512 East Market Street in York, 717-316-8777, or on our sell at 717-425-9837. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. And we're back. Thanks for hanging out with us on the podcast. Remember, you can get us now on the iHeartRadio app. (laughs) Steph, I apologize for the language that's going to be involved in this. All right. You're a classy woman. You don't deserve to hear this stuff, but it's an interesting story. So deal with it. Chinese customs officers seized over 12 tons of illegally trafficked beaver genitals in the country's biggest ever smuggling case involving animal parts. Ew, what? (laughs) Why? A total of 94 bags holding thousands of, I'll just say it, beaver penises. Each were seized on board a Canadian ship. Approximately 400,000 to 600,000 beavers were taken out to produce the 12.7 tons of beer thing, beaver things. Aww. So they just took, they, does that kill the beaver? Yeah. Why? What's the I, purpose? I, that makes me so sad. I'm glad you asked, Steph. Um, those parts are used in traditional Chinese medicine to cure um, ED. Really? Yeah, and to increase um, your libido, to increase your desire. Who knew? Yeah. I remember in dodgeball when that girl at the dodgeball competition, they're like, she used a low-grade beaver tranquilizer. (laughs) So I thought that people might use it to get muscular, but... I didn't know this. Uh, The customs agency estimates the seas things would have been worth more than $24 million. What? Oh, the poor beavers. I just, how do you come across that story and not talk about it? Right, you have to. So I apologize for for the, the, the verbiage. I apologize for making you sad about the beavers. But who knew that beaver genitals were so important in Chinese culture. Yeah, that's news to me. If anything, we all learn something, right? This has been a very educational show. Definitely. All right. So now we're going to play a little game. And it involves your dogs. So you're going to love it. Oh, yay. This has been going around, and I want everyone to do this on the Puff and Steph Facebook page. Have some fun with us today. Kick off the week with a little bit of political humor. We're getting into... You know, the, the the political season, the Iowa caucuses coming up very soon. Later this year, we, we're going to be voting on president again. What if you were running 
and this has been like a meme over the last couple weeks. This is how you come up with your campaign slogan. All right. You say your last name, then 2020, and then the last thing you said to your dogs. Aww. I love you with all my heart and soul. So it would be... Pagliaro, 2020, I love you with all my heart and soul. <laughs> People would vote for me if I'm just spewing love to everybody from my heart and my soul. And your soul. I'm just giving it to everybody. Like... Right. That doesn't sound good either. Giving uh, love to everybody. <laughs> Dirty minds. I was talking about Sorry, love. we just talked about 12 tons of beaver penises. True. Um, mine would be Downs 2020. What's the last thing I said? Like, what I can remember saying is something like, <laughs> Downs 2020. Hey, get off your brother. <laughs> you did say that just, just a couple minutes ago. <laughs> so this could be a lot of fun. I, I hope you guys have some fun with us on the uh, Puff and Steph Facebook page. Um, you know, it is your last name, 2020, and tell us what is the last thing you said uh, to your pet. This is kind of an interesting little celeb tidbit we're going to end on. Brad Pitt was photographed on uh, last Monday wearing a name tag while attending the annual Oscar nomination luncheon at the Beverly Hilton. He was wearing a name tag. He was. So they, they were handing out name tags, and it said, hello, my name is Brad. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Yeah. Brad, you might, you might recognize, Pitt. recognize me. Attendees were given name tags at the event. Most opted not to wear it. Right. Because they're egotistical. And they're like, you know who I am. You know who I am. Pitt proudly displayed his as he was seen talking to fellow Oscar nominee Cynthia Ervo. Uh, he's nominated for Best Supporting Actor for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. No! <laughs> Steph's, if you, if you missed movie. it last week, this was Steph's least favorite movie. It's the one she would watch continuously for 24 hours to raise money for charity because it's quite the hardship for her. Yeah. So, for those of you who are feel weird about wearing a name tag, you ever been to a function where you wear a name tag? Yeah, I put it on my leg so it's not as noticeable. Right, it's a little weird. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't work with your outfit most of the time. You know what? Brad Pitt can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Too. They're stylish now. I think so. It'll be like in Mean Girls when they cut the out of her, they cut like two holes in the girl's shirt and then everybody it's like a weird thing but then everybody starts doing it. So now everybody's going to be wearing name tags. 100%. That's exactly what I thought of Mean Girls. Was it really? No. No, no. You've at all. seen that movie. Oh yeah. Okay, I was going to say. Yeah. Don't act like you haven't. Oh, I totally have seen it. <laughs> it's just not what I think about. It's okay, though. All right, everyone. Have a great Monday. We will see you back tomorrow. It is Puff Step Podcast. It's the Puff and Step Podcast.